So the first compounds were put in the market in 1966, and for a long time, the industry thought that there was no potential for broad spectrum. We have already two other very good compounds, and we then have seen we have another one which is even better and has more opportunities than this. Of course, the team was very proud of having this. This is the only pyrazole carboxamide which is derived from an aliphatic amine and having, in addition, an N-metoxy group, which is absolutely novel. And we had good arguments from the past that we could come through with a new box in, in the FRAC classification system. And I think now with Isodem, Solatanol and Adabidine, I think the competition uh, has a very tough life in future. Adepidin is, is surprising because it's, it is ex so extremely active and it's active on a whole range of different uh, succinate dehydrogenase enzymes. We compared the intrinsic potency of adepidin to a range of different commercial SDHIs. And in each case, we were able to show that adepidin has the highest intrinsic potency of all of these compounds against the target enzyme. Adepidin would be a new mode of action for uh, Fusarium head blight. It's a very difficult pathogen to control. So, so yes, it's a real game changer. Powerful simplicity to me means that we've got a molecule that's going to be very easy for growers to use. It's got no significant loss mechanisms. It's got these great rain fastness. It's stable within the plant. There's nothing out there at the moment that will do the same job as a Depodent can do. The product is active on many, many different diseases. It's a big difference. So it's going to be, you see it once and you will use it. It has a, has a good safety profile of the user, of the consumer, and also for the environment. A Depodent will be a key tool for farmers, especially in conditions where they have to rely on a solid, robust and sustainable product. Thank you.